Hello, thanks for joining me today here on Naturally Curious UK. My name is Graham Wallace and this is the seventh in my series of videos about my Naturally Curious UK photo portfolio calendar for 2024. And being as it's the seventh in the series, it means it's the photo for July. And I'm pleased to report that as I do this piece to camera, the weather has improved somewhat since I did the last video for this series. So uh, no umbrella this time, thankfully, and it's quite mild and it's fine. So what's my photo for July? Well, it is a six spot burnet moth. The six spot burnet is a day flying moth with a wingspan of about three and a half centimetres bearing bold scarlet markings on a black background it's an eye-catching insect and one which many a casual observer might possibly misidentify as a butterfly at least when it's not in flight. When it is in flight, its very rapid wing beats are much faster than any butterfly I've seen, being rather more reminiscent of the flight of a hummingbird hawk moth. I took this photo at Grey's Gorge, less than a mile from Grey's town centre in Essex, while on a morning nature walk with my friend Neil Phillips from UK Wildlife. I'll leave a link to his channels in the description, Yes, I did say channels. He's got two, his UK Wildlife channel and his Pond Lab channel. Do check them out. The adult six-spot burnet moth is generally active from June to August, feeding on the nectar of thistles, knapweed and other grassland flowers, such as the marjoram, which is what we see this beautiful specimen on. The food plant of the larvae or caterpillars is bird's foot trefoil, so this is the plant the adult lays its eggs on. After hatching, the caterpillars set about feeding. They then overwinter as caterpillars before pupating in a papery cocoon in early spring and emerging as adults around June. The bright red spots on the wings of the adults serve as a warning to predators that this moth is distasteful, even poisonous. The bird's foot trefoil consumed by the caterpillars contains traces of toxic hydrogen cyanide, which doesn't harm the caterpillar, but is retained in the body through to adulthood. Another species of day-flying moth you might confuse the six-bot burnet with is the cinnabar moth, which we see here photographed by me while on a walk with my friend JP about a mile north of where I photographed the burnet moth. The cinnabar also has red markings on the wings but for me an easy way to remember the difference is cinnabar has a bar referring to the red bar along the leading edge of the wings. Let's just remind ourselves of the six spot burnet moth with another look at the calendar photo. Really quite a beautiful insect, the six spot burnet moth. So uh, keep your eyes out for that when you're in amongst wildflower meadows and such like during the summertime and uh, you might be lucky to see one. Do join me again soon here on Naturally Curious UK for another video. Meanwhile, as always, you stay safe, stay sane, stay curious and keep enjoying the wonders of nature God has blessed us with. Cheerio.